Hi guys, I'm Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. Today we will be featuring this Ninja State. So this refers to a country named Ninja. This is a play to earn game where you can experience having real estate, meaning you can have your own building, houses, or lands as well. And then there will be non-playable characters that will be renting your properties. And then you can earn on daily basis. But of course, you also need to take some actions which are related to cleaning and repairing your properties. If you are interested to know more about this game, so we are lucky that we've been sponsored to start the game. But of course, as I always say to my audience, let's always do our research, invest what we can only afford to lose. Definitely, let's ensure we know where we are investing. <coughs> Alright guys, before we go through the white paper, so here are the helpful links uh, where you can check the game. So their website, the Twitter account with 14,200 followers, and then the link to their Discord channel. So right now, they have almost 23,000 members and you can see here that some other influencers as well like boss jobs is here there are also filipinos that are asking for the ways how to start with the game so later i i think we'll be able to cover this somehow and then they have the site where it is in i think this is spanish language or latin america there is a translation in english below so you can see here all of the updates and adjustments that they're doing in the game this is the white paper so we can go through this quickly so why the game is interesting so imagine that you are owning a condo unit or hotel room in a certain country and every 12 midnight UTC or 8 a.m. Philippine time, you need to ensure that your rooms are prepared because there will be non-playable characters that will be renting your rooms. It means that when you own this real estate NFTs, the houses, the buildings, and skyscraper or other infrastructure here, you will be able to get passive income with that. And then same with other NFTs, you can also sell it to the marketplace. There is also an option here where there is like a mystery box, the gacha rolls where you can acquire rare NFTs at a lower price. And then you can also compete in the leaderboard seasonal challenge wherein if you buy a property within the season, then you can get rewards if you are in I think top 300 and that's something that you can check as well here in the leaderboard section also guys if you play this game you can also do some cleaning and repairing services to other structures within the game so you can earn from that but of course you cannot earn when you need to repair something within your properties and then later on they will be coming up with pvp game mode where you can fight with the other players and this is i think related to nft cards that i mentioned earlier so we can wait for more details about it later on for the roadmap of this project actually the game has been started since the third quarter last year these are all the deliverables like the designs and all of the assets that they need here like for example the white paper this 2022 the first quarter they have just launched their ninti token and then they had their public sale and they already have their open beta launch the token is already released in pancake swap the marketplace is already available that we will be checking later and then the nft burning and the new object to repaint the properties based on my initial checking here the initial game is already functioning and this is something that i'll be checking in the coming days so as you can see here for the second quarter of the year they are trying to target a sim city style game and they're also looking at having pvp wherein you will be using some nft cards i guess and you you will be able to battle in terms of building like economy with the other players so this will happen on the second quarter and the third quarter of the year so guys if you will go to the public sale you can see here that they're token pricing in the decentralized exchange is at 0 0.055 US dollars and their first public offering is at 0 0.03 this means that at right now if you go to the coin gecko the price is currently at 0 
dollars or around I think eight to nine pesos. So right now it's already tripled or already five times in terms of its initial pricing. Also, guys, in terms of the partners, this game partnered with Game Starter. So this is I think one of the known launch pad as well of a lot of games. They partnered with uh, B Global, Koji Sun NFT, and then Dr. Emery. So you can also do your own research if you believe that these are all like prestigious partners based on your experience. Based on my experience, if you are partnering with Launchpad or central exchanges or decentralized exchanges, there is a tedious process and like a long list of questionnaires, the know your customer process. Before a certain game, get that partnership. Team members are not doxxed actually and they're not sharing any link in here. And the reason behind this is that it's not safe to dox themselves, especially they are located in Latin America. So it's up to you whether you have a hard requirement that a dev team should be docs in the projects that you are joining with. But at least based on my experience, one Mocha, engineer and ambassador, he has been referred to me by another influencer and he has been in this game since last year. And I'm actually getting to the game based on trust and based on the risk appetite that I have given that they also have some like known partners. We've been reviewing a lot of projects already and we've already discussed that if the dev team really wants to run with the fans of the people, of course that, that can really happen, right? So let's ensure that we know what are the projects that we're getting into and what are the risks that are, we are willing to face. Their tokenomics is really interesting because with a total of 1 billion supply, they have more than 50% of that 620 million for the in-game or reward pool. So this is a lot. And what's also interesting is that they have burned all of 80 million tokens that should be allocated to the team. We know that for most of the people, it is scary when the team is getting their tokens, when the tokens are getting released. Because if they sell it, that can possibly, you know, ruin everything, like negatively affect the price of the token. But here, they are looking at the people who will be entering the game, who will be setting the price based on the activities within the game. So if you are curious where they will get their team budget or gratification with all of their efforts here, so they will be developing the project while getting the money from the BNB fees. Within this game, there is like electricity fees the marketplace transaction fees and even the deposit and withdrawal so they will not get this ninty tokens at least that's what they are saying <coughs> guys they are also aspiring here to be the not usual play to earn game because they wanted to have this more sustainable economy i know that we have different perspective about rois but this game is proactive like they've come up with their calculators here in the farming part where you can check all of the like resources all of the investment for the properties like what will be the ded deductions in terms of the cleaning and repairing and how many days will you be able to get the return of investment but actually guys when I've read brief information here in the like patch updates uh, we've seen that some players are abusing the game by making a lot of accounts per player but with their recent update I think they've come up with something so I, I still need to read more about this when I play the game so within the game they also have nft burning where your properties can be converted to some ninty tokens all right so I, I think we will not be going to the details and you can also check by yourself all of the information here about their technology the smart contracts if you want to check them the important wallets and their social links are also here as mentioned it's always good to know more about the game that we're going into and then for the other activities within the game like the renting the cleaning repairing 
in-game items, the map, and the leaderboard in the scholarship. I think we'll be able to cover this for the next video since I'm planning to stream it or come up with uh, more videos related to my experience. My honest opinion about this game is that I think with the size of their community, 14,000 for Twitter and 22,000 for the Discord, this is like an average community since they are in the early phase like they've just launched their marketplace and the initial game or opportunities to earn from it so it, it will still require a lot of marketing and sharing about the experiences if people really enjoy playing the game owning some real estates here then for sure this will be able to attract more players and we have to check it by ourselves so that we, we know if it is really true or it really depends when did you enter the game okay so for the last part of this video i will be trying to buy some land and properties so that i can start being a real estate owner all right guys so let's try to get our nft within the game so i prepared 4850 nimty tokens and if you want to get yours so you can just go to pancake swap you can get it here make sure that you will be using the right contract so that you can find it correctly so for example if you have bnb paste this contract address that i will also share in the description and then you can buy some initial tokens are displaying as well here in the balance okay guys so next thing that i need to do is i need to go to the website and go to the marketplace so i have to connect my metamask wallet here so if you have hardware wallet the better so that you can protect your asset if none just make sure that we're not clicking any links and you can also secure your assets and your personal computer by installing antivirus let's connect our wallet to the website make sure that you're using the right website we have to ensure that in the settings we'll be able to set up our email address this will allow us to do the scholarship later on so you will get your verification code so just confirm it i should have my email attached to the game and then the next thing that you need to do is to approve all of the contracts here to allow transaction to happen here okay so it's already approved so let's approve all of them so here guys you can see the ne so this is like the in-game token like you can earn NE payments and you can exchange them to Ninty tokens that can be converted to fiat. When you're gonna sell it, 125 NE, it will give you one Ninty. But if you will convert your Ninty to NE, it will only be, I think, 100. So at least that's what I'm seeing here and then this is the game the language and then we can go through this property shop, land shop, P2P market, uh, my cash and the electricity. So after approving all of the contracts then we need to go to the property shop and then let's buy this gacha roll opportunity to get a rare nft i hope i'm lucky we also need to get some cash later but for now what i'm going to do is to buy other properties uh, i'd like to buy some land as well so what i budgeted on will be bridgetown and lizetti within the ninja this is a country right there are different cities so let's try to buy the bridge town i think i'll be needing more ninty tokens let's see if there will be remaining one 
because in order to play the game you need to have 2000 NE in your cache here so you have to convert like 20 ninety to get that um, 2000 NE before you play the game and then this cache you'll be able to use that to buy the cleaning kit the repair kit, the main maintenance, the fence, the construction crew that I will try later after buying all of these properties. And I will cover that in my next video. But for now, since we've just started it, uh, I need to try it myself first. And then on my next video, I will come up with some tutorial how, how will I approach the, the game which is here. For now, I'm just buying my properties so I should have my lands already okay for now I have the bridge town so if I go here I don't have blueprint yet so it says here that we need to reveal okay guys so after buying the gacha roll we will reveal it the property I hope this is at least a building or a house. Wow! We've got a building, guys. <laughs> We're lucky because when you go to the properties, uh, the building is epic and it can contain 12 to 14 rooms. Wow, we're lucky. I'm already happy with that. Check again. So, we will confirm it. And once confirmed, the gacha roll. Imagine I bought it around 350. Wait, hold on. Let's check the price of it. So ninety, ninety. It's around what? It's around 350. So around 63 dollars or 3,000 pesos. And then I I was able to get that building. Nice. And I go to my property. Okay, I have a building. Okay, so if you have uh, an expensive land and then you have property, so they are willing to, to pay more. So there will be bonuses here depending on the location. So if we've got Bridgetown and Lizetti, so we have 8% and 10%. Yep, so I think that's it for now for this video and I still need to study how to play the game later My next thing to do is to buy some Ninty tokens convert it to NE so that I have something to to pay in terms of the kits that I need to do because I will be doing some cleaning repairing within my properties and even with other properties as well to, to earn NE, which will be the like currency within the economy all right guys so let's choose two winners of 250 gcash so let's get the monster infinite link here let's put it here and then we will duplicate and the replies so we have 36 participants here let's use two winners the first one will be Mr. Bean TV, sabi niya, kahit delayed, at least may potential na mag-boom yan soon. So, he is a supporter of Monster Infinite and he still believes in the project. So, let's choose another one. So, congratulations, Mr. Bean TV. Shout out. And then, the second winner is myself. No, just kidding. <laughs> So I still won another 250 guys but we will donate it to another lucky winner. So congratulations Kelly and he mentioned to the moon paren Monster Infinite. That's it guys for this video. If you believe that this video is helpful, feel free to share and don't forget to subscribe, comment and like this video. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye bye.